friends welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog we are starting off today's vlog in the car it's very very rainy it's been raining the past couple of days and so i just couldn't do contacts today so we're wearing glasses i've also got that everlane pullover from my most recent haul on but we are in the car heading across town to pick up another vintage piece from that same seller. If you guys watched that video where I grabbed that white leather couch, this is another piece from her. I'm telling you guys, she finds the coolest stuff and she's about to move to LA so she's like cleaning out a bunch of things before she moves and when she posted this coffee table, I literally like ran downstairs and I was like, Jess, we have to get this place. We are on our way over to pick it up. It is a little bit across town, so it'll be kind of a drive. We're trying to make sure that we don't hit rush hour this time because last time we hit rush hour, but you guys are going to freaking freak out about this. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen this style of coffee table. I'm like leaving you guys on a cliffhanger right now. It is so unique. It's so beautiful. It's like sculptural. It's a piece of art, and I've been eyeing these styles for of coffee so table long. for so long like i've been asking jaywas if we can get one for like a couple of years now and while we were at our old place it just did not make sense to grab one of these because it would honestly just have felt so out of place at that old place that we were staying at so now that we have a house i get to do a little bit more furniture shopping and this is actually gonna be perfect because oh my gosh there's literally a river right now <laughs> Oh my gosh. Like I said, it's been raining a lot. So like where we're at, it kind of like accumulates water, but we live on a hill. So we never have to worry about flooding. And that has been just such a gift, <laughs> such a gift to know you're not going to get flooded every time it rains. But anyway, you guys are going to freak out when you see this coffee table because it's so beautiful and it's going to be perfect with our envisioned sectional that we've been thinking about since last year as well. Finally, we'll have space for that. So I feel like we're going to start switching stuff over slowly i am excited because we're able to pick it up today versus like if we ordered something new from like crate and barrel or like west elm it would probably take quite a few months to get here so i'm excited to get something that's like a one-of-a-kind piece and also that i can actually pick up in town so that's what we're doing today jay was is my hero Always making my dreams come true. Right, right. All right, y'all. Here she is. Huh? I would show you guys the natural light, but it's so gloomy outside that you really like can't see it very well. Well, maybe I'll turn it off. Let me try. Okay, so here she is. It's like the exact same color as this couch. We are gonna put this downstairs though eventually. Right now it's just up here because we have a different coffee table downstairs. Once we get a big sectional, this is gonna sit in the corner of the sectional, which is why we love the fact that it's like this big triangle. It's so cool. Look at this. Have you ever seen something so stunning? I mean, it's literally a piece of art. Like, it's exactly what I've been wanting for so, so long. I'm truly just like flipping out because it's, it's just so beautiful. I can't. Ugh. Imagine it downstairs though, eventually. But for now, it's just up here in my office. I... <laughs> have a little bit of a disaster office right now. This clothes rack will not be right here or it might not even be in here, but it's just in here temporarily because I just had a closet sale. And so this guy is just chilling here. We just brought everything through it in the room from the closet sale. I do have something that I want to open up with you guys. We are actually headed to Colorado tomorrow to Carbondale, which is 30 minutes outside of Aspen. I think I mentioned that in a previous vlog, but I got in a package from and other stories. Hold on, just look at it in the background. It's so beautiful. Also, this couch will switch with the desk. So the couch will actually be over there with the coffee table and the desk will be on this wall so that when I'm like doing a mirror thing, the couch will actually be in the background and so will the coffee table. But as I was saying, I've gotten in a package from and other stories that I wanted to open with y'all and try on with you guys in this vlog before we leave to go out of town, mostly because I got this cute little belt bag slash fanny pack that I think would be really good for the trip. So I wanna get into that box. It's not a ton of stuff, but it's really, really cute fall stuff that I think you guys are gonna love. And then we're gonna 
pack for Colorado. Since it will be mostly a hiking, chill trip, we're gonna do a lot of outdoor stuff. I'm probably just gonna take a carry-on, which is very, very minimal for someone like me. I am a chronic overpacker, but Jason and I decided the other day that we're just gonna do a carry-on so that we don't have to check a bag. There's no risk of it getting lost. I don't know, I feel like airports have just been a little bit like kind of chaotic lately. And I've just heard some like stories of people losing luggage or like check-in lines being way too long or just things that can complicate a flight. And so we are just gonna do carry-ons and just have stuff with us. Plus it's only gonna be like active wear, so it should be able to compact pretty small. I'm not going to bring like barely any makeup or skincare and try to be as low maintenance as possible. Hopefully the Airbnb will have shampoo, conditioner, a hair dryer, all that good stuff. But for the most part, I'm just going to bring like a really good hoodie, a kind of puffer jacket and just some active wear. We will get to packing in a second. Let's open up this and other story stuff. All right. So first thing first are some jeans. I actually have never had a pair of and other stories denim before. I've never tried it out, so I don't know the fit or the quality or anything like that. However, I've tried other and other stories pieces and I've loved the quality and the way the other things have fit. So I just ordered my normal size in these, which I will add in the description box down below. I love having a coffee table to like set my camera on to put like just stuff on. I've always just thrown things on the floor. These are called the Sublime Cut. I got these, like I said, in my normal size. These are a high waist, straight leg, non-stretch denim. So this is what they look like. This is what the back looks like. Just a really classic kind of pair of denim. Like they said, they're straight leg denim. I'm really hoping that they fit. So I'm gonna open everything else and then we'll try stuff on. I kind of already took a peek at this so I know what everything is, but you guys are gonna absolutely freak out because it's just such good fall stuff. This is technically like my first kind of like fall haul, even though it's not that big of a haul, it's kind of small. This is the bag that I'm gonna take to Colorado. It is this like little, is it nylon, I think, two-tone beige bag. Everything in my life is beige if you can't tell. Especially come fall, I go completely neutral. It's just like what I do. But this is a fanny pack slash belt bag. You can wear it around your waist. You can also wear it the very trendy way, which is by wearing it like this. So this is probably how I'm gonna wear it when we're hiking and stuff. Jay was, we'll have a backpack and then I'm gonna take this and fill it with like snacks, my phone, my vlog camera, cause I'm gonna be doing a little bit of vlogging in Colorado. It has black little zipper pulls. This will fit like actually a decent good amount of stuff. So it's a good crossbody size. And I thought this would be absolutely perfect to take on our trip because it is super flexible and I can just throw it in my carry-on and that way it's very compact. So really excited to use this on my trip. I love the two-tone cream. So that's a good little bag. I got two tops from them. This is the first little sweater. It is a kind of mid sleeve, not short sleeve, not long sleeve, kind of a mid sleeved little knit. It has a collar on it and I believe this has wool in it. It has 38% wool. So if you guys feel like wool is itchy, you might not want to get this. I feel like if you wear it over some sort of like tank, like one of those free people tanks, it honestly, like you won't really be able to tell. This is such a beautiful oatmeal color though. It's like this really beautiful, beautiful knit. I love the little pearlescent buttons on it. And you guys know I love anything with a collar and anything with buttons. And it's just oh, it's such a neutral vibe. I'm so, so excited. The other shirt that I got, I actually already have this in the beige, but I loved it so much. And I got so many questions about it that I also got it in this beautiful green. Oh, you guys know I'm a sucker for sage green, which is the color that I want to paint our kitchen cabinets eventually. But look at this. It's like the most beautiful sage green gray. It's so, so pretty. And I love the fit of it. I already know I love this shirt and the fit because like I said, I have it in tan, but I just am obsessed. And this is a really good fabric to where it's not gonna pill. 
This one might pillow just because it's like a wool, but this one is not gonna pill on you. It's like a really good kind of like sturdy fabric. So I really, really like that top. And then the last thing that I got are just absolutely show stoppers. They are these boots. How cute are these? And I have tried them on and they are fantastic. Oh my gosh, they're so, so cute on. They have the kind of mid calf little ankle and they're such a beautiful silhouette, a square toe, which we love. And then a really good block heel. So these are gonna be like my fall staple boots. I'm so excited to wear these. Oh, they're just like, they're just so perfect. I literally cannot. Okay, so now I'm gonna try all this stuff on and pair up some outfits. Okay, so sadly these jeans do not fit me, which is such a bummer. I think they were just made for people with obviously much longer legs. They don't have them in petite, which is a little bit unfortunate. It's hard to find brands that carry everything in petite. Really wish these fit because I can tell they would be so flattering on if like my legs were longer, but I can't really change my height. So I might have to give these to a friend or I don't know, throw them up with my Poshmark or something so one of y'all can grab them because sadly like I just can't make them work, which is such a bummer. I am gonna try on the rest of the stuff though with the jeans that I was wearing previously. Those ones were the Everlane jeans, the 90s cheeky jean in ankle length. So that way you can see the boots. <laughs> so these are the Everlane jeans and you can see the boots now. I honestly would probably wear these boots with some sort of like crop jeans that you can see the high ankle on them. Cause I think that's the best part of them is like how high it goes. So I think these would look so amazing with like a wide leg crop denim. And then this is the top and it's actually like on, I don't have a tank on underneath. I just have a bra. It's really not that itchy. If you're like really, really sensitive to wool, you might want to wear something underneath it, like a t-shirt or like a v-neck top, but it's so cute. You can see it's like a little bit cropped. It kind of hits right at the top of the jeans. So you could do a front tuck or you could just leave it out. I am like so obsessed with this top and these boots. I wish I like had better pants to show you guys these boots. You'll see them styled so much this fall because they're literally my dream silhouette, but this is the first top. I'll throw on the other one. Okay, again, I would probably wear this top with some black denim. I feel like honestly in the fall and winter, I wear mostly like dark or black denim or you could wear it with like kind of like a brown pant I think would be really pretty. This is the top. You guys have seen this in a beige color. This green is so, so good. I love the slouchy fit of it. This one is not itchy at all. All I just love these collared shirts. You know, I'm a big sucker for a button up. Also, this is what the bag looks like on. I probably wouldn't wear it with this top. I'd pair it with like a cool tank or like sweatshirt or like a less textured top, probably just cause it is like two-tone and there's a lot of like black going on. I think this is gonna be perfect for my trip cause I'm gonna be wearing mostly active wear, but you can kind of get an idea of how I'm gonna wear it. I'm just obsessed. This will be in a separate video cause there's no time to do this, but I wanted to show you guys. <sighs> I thought that all the boxes that I had in my last unboxing were like everything that I had just missed over like the last couple weeks or so. And then I got a call <laughs> from our old landlord who left me a voicemail and he was like, hey Chloe, I just want to let you know that you have a lot of packages here. like." a lot so just come by and grab him like he was so nice but i called him and i was like oh thanks for letting me know that like stuff had been shipped there i tried to change my address and everything but i was like i really appreciate it and he was like he was like yeah you must be like really doing well if you're like getting all these packages i was like well it's for work i'm not like buying this stuff and he was like well good for you like keep going i was like Thanks so much. So we ran to the PO box and to the old place to pick these up and we'll just have to do another unboxing, I guess, sometime soon. But I did see there's like, Riley. She doesn't like our neighbors. I did see there is the new Rare Beauty Mascara. We've got Laura Mercier, Drunk Elephant, something from OC, and then Cover Fix, and then a bunch of other brands. So that would be a fun unboxing. Riley's like, why are there always boxes everywhere, mom? Why is that a thing? 
Well, small bear. <laughs> hey, but I'm just grateful that we have a garage now. On a scale of one to 10, how grateful are you for the garage? Okay. 100 out of 10. No more boxes in the house. <laughs> no more boxes in we the kitchen. Do y'all remember? Do you guys remember the box pile in the kitchen? I became so numb to it that like, I just didn't think anything of it. But then you realize that like that many boxes always piled in the kitchen. We have to literally crawl over them. And he would always be like, sorry. Like he would always say sorry to his clients who would have to literally like bringing strangers crawl over, over our hey, boxes. There's like 8,000 boxes. <laughs> yeah, they would have to crawl over problems. the boxes <laughs> to even get to the bathroom. So we're just grateful. But we gotta move them upstairs and close the door and hide them all. Get them out of the living room. Okay, so now I'm gonna be packing up my carry-on, which is on the floor right now. Packing underwear. Because you can never have too much of that. And then I looked at the weather and it said it's gonna be just slightly cooler than Nashville. So it looks like next week it's like all highs of 75 to 80 degrees, but then there's like lows of 48. So I definitely need to bring some kind of sweatshirt and leggings. I'll probably wear like, honestly, I'll probably bring all of my leggings and then like a couple pairs of shorts. I probably don't need like a ton of shorts just because it's not going to be like super hot. And then I'll just take like some of my favorite little sports bras, bra tanks. I will need some socks for hiking. So bringing my like athletic socks. And then I'll need some kind of cozier socks because I think it's supposed to get kind of cold. So I might just bring like two pairs of cozy socks. Trying to stay more on the light side than overpacking. We'll see how this goes. I'm not sure if I need to bring a pair of jeans. What do you think? Maybe if we go out to dinner, I'll like want a pair of jeans. So yeah, maybe I actually should bring a pair. I'll bring my Madewell Perfect Vintage Jean. It's my jean of choice. And then I guess like maybe just bring a nicer top or like, I don't really know. Okay, so here's the deal. I don't really know what we're doing. I know we're doing a lot of hiking and stuff, but Jason also has been kind of planning this trip secretively. And so I don't really know like, what we're gonna be doing every single day. All I know is like I need to bring active wear for the hikes. I know we're gonna have a lot of hiking days, but we are gonna have some other stuff going on. So I like don't know if I should pack like other stuff or if it truly is just like bring your active wear and that's it. So maybe I should ask him and see, but I think maybe jeans and then maybe like one nice top. So I'm gonna take and other stories little top that I got as like my nice, my only nice top. Maybe I'll take like a tank top or a t-shirt as well. Maybe like this shirt. So, sorry the lighting here is like so spooky. There's like this one spotlight that is just like so aggressive and the lighting in here is just like kind of weird, but it doesn't really matter because I don't really feel my hair that much anyway now that I have a room. So basically, these are all of my bathroom products and then I'm gonna put like a skin tint in here and then like a powder brush maybe a mascara and a blush and that's gonna be like my whole makeup thing the airbnb has shampoo conditioner body wash but they don't have a hair dryer so i have to bring one this is like the t3 travel dryer i've got these drunk elephant samples i don't know if these are samples but i've got a body lotion a cream body cleanser and then this is a tangle spray. So I've got those to travel with as well. I've got leggings and shorts. I've got my girlfriend collective leggings, my Everlane leggings, my Lululemon leggings. So three pairs of leggings, which I'm gonna wear my Lululemon ones on the plane because I just wear those ones every time I fly. It's just, I don't know, became a habit of mine. The other two I'm packing. Then I have also got a couple pairs of shorts. I've packed just different ones. So I've got Girlfriend Collective black shorts. And then I've got the Everlane rec short in khaki. And then I have my Free People short in this like coral color. I know it's so hard to tell what stuff looks like because this lighting is so weird. I'm like right under the spotlight when I stand right here. But anyway, this is the color. So I just grabbed a little bit of everything. And then for 
just in case. A pair of jeans and one nice top from and other stories this guy and then i also have some of the bra tanks some i've packed a lot of them i'm gonna take this rust colored one and wear it with the green leggings i'm gonna pack the black one the green one i've got this green tank from everlane i'm actually gonna grab a couple more of those Okay, and then for sleepwear, I've got just like a sleep shirt, little headband for taking my makeup off, and then I'm packing my Everlane Terry Cloth shorts as like my sweat shorts. And then instead of sweatpants, I thought I would switch it up and do something crazy. And I'm gonna bring my little Everlane like knit pants as my fancy sweatpants. Then I've got some socks. I'm gonna take this pair on the plane. Packing some more cozy socks. I'm gonna take this sweatshirt as like a sleepy sweatshirt slash what I use when I wash my face. I'm actually really particular about keeping my like nice sweatshirts nice. So this is what I'm gonna wear on the plane. I'm gonna wear the Free People bra tank, Lululemon leggings my Everlane zip, which is like my nicer one, and then my Free People Movement jacket because it compacts into like a pillow. It literally compacts into a pouch. That's the shape of a pillow. And then I'm gonna take my APLs, which I just got from the closet sale that I did. I bought them for my friend April for $20 and I took them home and I washed them and I like scrubbed them with a magic eraser and they're literally like brand new. And I think these shoes normally go for like $220, but when I saw that she had them in my size and she was selling them, I was like, I have to buy those. So she sold them to me for 20 bucks. And it's just gonna be so cute, little purple, pink, green, colorful airport fit. So that is what I'm taking. And yeah, as far as like cosmetics, not that much. I actually have more room in my suitcase, which is shocking. Can't believe that's actually like a thing, but I'm gonna try to like stop myself. I'm gonna take my book. Right now I'm reading The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and then I'm gonna take the next one in the series and try to read through those on the plane. I don't have that much work that I'm doing and Jason's not really working. So we might like edit a video or two while we're there, but other than that, that's all we're doing. And I think that's everything that's gonna go with me for my suitcase. I'm gonna pack up my like backpack now, laptop, stuff like that, and get that in order. So, like I said, <laughs> this is the bag that I'm taking of all of my skincare and everything. And then for makeup, I'm gonna take my eyelash curler, which I'm gonna use tomorrow, the Ilia Beauty Skin Tint SPF 40. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite lightweight thing. And then, I'm gonna take a cloud paint, my favorite cloud paint, which is Beam. It's a perfect blush. And then just in case I wanna do an eyeshadow, in case we go to dinner or something, I brought the Glossier Lid Star in the shade Bun, my favorite. Lash Like Mascara is my go-to mascara at all times. And then, you guys know I can't go without a lip product, so I'm bringing my Laura Mercier Lip Glaze in blush. And then a Tarte lip balm in, I think this is nude. So very, very natural, but just like something in case we go out and I just wanna feel cute. So I'm just gonna like wrap these up in this little Sephora pouch. And that is all of the makeup that I'm taking. Okay, so in my backpack, I'm gonna be taking a extra battery charger for my phone. And then I'm gonna be taking my memory cards, my vlog camera charger. I love this backpack. This is a hobo backpack, but Jason used to use it. And then when he was like, I'm not gonna use it anymore. I was like, I'm grabbing it because it has so many like storage compartments. It's seriously so functional. And so I'm gonna take batteries, cards, extra masks for the airport and such. And then I need to make sure my AirPods are charged. I have a feeling they're not because I haven't used them in a while. So I'm gonna charge these up. And then I'll be taking my computer, vlog camera, and then this little bag 
which I'm gonna use for hiking and stuff, I'll just slip into the backpack itself. That's pretty much what I'm taking. Also taking my water bottle, which I will also just throw in my backpack. Should be good. Before I end this vlog, I wanted to share a quick packing hack that I've done for a while, but I've never really shared before. Typically, I'll like save all of my dust bags from any handbags that come with them. <gasps> Riley! Because I like to use them for like holding cords or most importantly for packing your shoes when you travel. Especially like we're gonna be doing a lot of hiking, it could get muddy, we might be like down by a river, who knows what. So I like to have dust bags to throw my shoes in on the way there and on the way back and it just keeps your clothes clean and it's just like, little hack so that's my packing tip but i'm gonna go ahead and in this vlog here i'll pick back up with y'all once we get to colorado if you guys like this video though be sure to give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and if you're new here and you want to stick around be sure to hit the subscribe button i would love for you to catch back up when we're in carbondale but i will see you guys in my next one very very soon bye y'all